Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's another Friday. We've made it to Friday. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher, and you have reached my channel and a video about cross stitch and other crafty endeavors. I am Joyfield Stitcher. I am that here over on YouTube and over on Instagram. So, hope everybody is having a fantastic week so far. It is Friday, February the 26th, and this is floss tube number 93. We are like whoo, zooming in on floss tube 100. Like, ah, I'm so excited. So, this is a fun Friday floss tube weekly update. I have some whips to show you, which is works in progress. I have, I think, a finish. Yeah, I think I have a finish. Um, I have a, some plans to chat about. I have um, some past the stash, and I have a tiny bit of stash, a tiny bit of stashy stash. Haul. Hallelujah. So first, I want to welcome you all to another video here on my channel, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, it can get a bit rambly, I'm not going to lie. Um, I love to chat about kind of what's going on in my life along with what I do in terms of crafting. If this is not your first video here, then you are well aware of what you've signed up for. Ooh. So first, let's just real briefly share some hugs. We like virtual hugs around here. Yes. I will also say, if by chance you are not in for all of this administrative, fun, lifey type stuff in the beginning, feel free to fast forward. Feel free to put me on a faster speed. I didn't know that was a thing. I feel I must now listen to everybody at one and a half speed just for fun. Um, I don't know what I would be like on one and a half speed because I talk pretty fast to begin with. But hey... You do you. If if you need to like get through all the, it might be a way for me to get caught up on videos. To be perfectly honest, hmm, because I'm still way atrociously behind. Like I might, I might have made it to February in terms of my playlist. Might being an operative word. So anywho, um, yeah. So let's do some virtual hugs. So we're gonna come in for a hug on this side. Mm hmm. We're going to come in for a hug on this side mm -hmm. and then we're going to give ourselves a nice little squeeze and we're going to have an awesome video and an awesome Friday evening. So it is Friday about five o'clock my time. I am in Texas. We have officially thawed. In fact, it was, you know, I talked last Friday. If you were not here last Friday, I um, waxed poetic about how frigid it had been in Texas, um, historical colds, um, along with wintry precipitation, things that don't make sense. By Sunday, it was like 75 degrees. There's this long adage of, if you don't like the weather in Texas, just wait five minutes. There are days in the spring where we can hit all four seasons pretty close to it. Now, granted, our spring and our fall are kind of, uh, they're kind of, in, they don't really exist in fullness, at least here. Um, we have like a week of spring and then it's summer and it's hot. And then we have like a week of fall and then it's winter and it's cold. Ish. Cold for us. Um, but everybody's doing great. Um, I think things are starting to normalize. Um, Nine of our teachers was were displaced into alternate teaching situations, which meant pretty much it moved some of our enrichment teachers into a different scenario as well. It was supposed to last two days. Some folks got to move back into their homes on Wednesday. Some it was closer to Thursday. I think everybody was back in yesterday. And then today was the first day. Everybody was back in their home, home zone, like in their room and of course it's a Friday and the kids were a little ooh, like monkeys at the zoo but it had a lot to do I think with the fact that it was a full moon or it is a full moon it is also the last Friday in February February has zoomed by February has been a whirlwind um during we began personally began February 
with um, quarantine at home because my mom had the COVIDs. Um, we had an ice day. We've had, we had a week that was shut down. Like the whole state was paralyzed by cold and ice. We had a couple random days, a random day off. Um, had master's holiday. And now we're fast approaching spring break. We have two full weeks. No, nine days, nine teaching days until spring break because we have the Friday before spring break off. And spring break is, I should rename in ours the week of doctor's appointments because it's literally when I try to schedule all the doctor's appointments. There were some that were supposed to happen the week of Ice Mageddon, but it just didn't happen, obviously. The world stood still. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to chat about today in the plan section of this is some, uh, March plans. March is going to be interesting because I have added a lot of things to my plate, but I'm hoping to do some double dipping, like meaning use this for this and something else. Um, Whipgo numbers got called today, which is Whipgo is like bingo for cross stitch. You can go check it out on Jesse Marie does Steph's channel or her group on Facebook. Love it. I am so far for two months. I'm two for two, meaning like I've kept up with my goals for two months. <laughs> and, um, I'm hoping to keep that streak going. I got two really good projects this month. And then there's some other stuff I'm going to do too, but We'll get to that in plans. So what I want to first do is um, let's talk about some awesome kind things that happened. Awesome kind things. Um, first of all, one awesome kind thing is I had some folks buy me a fancy floss this week or more. Um, so my brain kind of went bonkers. There it is. I was looking for my list. So I have several posted -y like lists of things. And one of these I don't need. This is my Needlework Expo list of things I've pre-ordered from uh, Misty over at Mystic Fabrics. If you are needing a place to get some, to see all the things, um, I have had two really great years ordering through Misty of Mystic Fabrics. You can find her group on Facebook, Mystic Fabrics, M-Y-S-T-I-C Fabrics. She has a great system set up in her albums. Um, I've done two Nashville needlework markets with her. H highly recommend. And she has all of the, a lot. I don't know if she has everybody's. I think she has everybody's up now or pretty close to it. And so I kind of have a little list of ones that I've said, me please, me please. Um, I also have some, I've been very good and have been saving some things I see. I took this idea actually from Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy. She shared that instead of just automatically going and buying something, she created a saved, I'm going to show you. She created a, on Instagram, if you don't know this, this is your uh, tech, tech, tech tidbit for today. This is not a new segment, but it is a tech tidbit. You can save things. You can go and save an image. Well, when you go into your profile, like here's my profile, you go to saved right here, which is above your highlights, if you do highlights. And I have a couple of folders. One of them is two by 2021. So I've put things in here that I really like that have just popped out at me. If I'm scrolling through and I'm like, oh, I love that. I have so much to stitch right now and so and so I kind of save them there and then when I'm kind of like mulling over like oh a new project like but I don't really want to I have so much so unless it's something exclusive the pretty much the only thing I'm like hopping on in terms of needlework expo is I am for sure getting like pretty much everything that ink circles is releasing there's one heart and hand that I have on my list. Um, there's one from October. I think it's October Fiber Art Fiber House. 
something like that. There's two, I think. The big one is the one that says floss tube friends and has the like stitchers all lined up because hello, my floss tube friends. So I was talking to Erin to Martini Stitcher and I said, I'm pretty certain I need to rechart that to say like maybe above floss tube friends. Hello, my floss tube friends. I feel like I need that. Like it must be mine. So that was like a not negotiable, but pretty much the only things like in the past, I bought a ton of stuff from like market day and all of that. Not so much anymore. Um, I have a few things, like I said, I want to grab up and then I've added some things to kind of to that, like for a later date. The only exception to that would be if, so, if Nitka Moscow puts out a kit, I am on it. Like nobody's business if I love it because Barbara Anna. That's all I need to say about that. Okay. I went off on a tangent. Fancy floss. So buy me a fancy floss. So thank you to these folks who used the link below, the buy me a coffee link, and bought me some fancy floss this week. Buy me a coffee is kind of a way that you can show um, your support of someone. I waxed poetic about that last week too. So if you want a little bit more details, feel free. Um, I personally though have buy me a fancy floss because I don't drink coffee anymore. I know I'm like, I'm an anomaly when it comes to that. I don't drink tea. I don't drink coffee, but that's okay. I drink hint water in a giant jug. Today's flavor is blackberry hint water. So I say so a lot. I know a lot of people are like, they say, um, they say, and I have watched back my videos. I say so a lot. So a needle pulling thread. It's interesting because uh, Joy Filled Little One has wanted me to sing that song randomly. Like, anyway, these folks purchased me a fancy floss. I cannot remember if I thanked Teresa R last week. So Teresa R, thank you so much. If I Thank you last week. I'm thanking you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Shannon who purchased me some fancy floss. Thank you to Soli who purchased me some fancy floss. Thank you to Grace S. I really appreciate your support. Heather W who has supported me before. Heather, thank you so much. And Brandy S. So also I had an anonymous benefactor who, um, did not share anything with it with me other than they bought me some fancy floss. So I appreciate that so much. Um, if you feel so inclined, feel free to click that link. Um, and you can uh, share the love with me. I do receive 100% of whatever you donate. Um, and it helps a little bit for me to continue to keep, I don't want to say it continues to keep these videos ad free. They're ad free because I don't agree with the whole ad structure. Um, but it helps me to have fun things to show you. So, yeah. All right. Um, I got some, uh, stitchy kindness today. I got some happy mail today. I mean, I got like happy mail. I call like haul happy mail too, but this is true happy mail that I was not expecting. Um, I got a little package from Stitch Life Magazine from Dana at Stitch Life Magazine. Um, and it said, thank you so much for supporting, like it had a little stamp on the back or a sticker that said, thank you so, so much for supporting small business. I love Stitch Life Magazine. I am a patron of them. I don't know if this is a patron gift or it was just something sweet, but um, I'm obsessed. It's so cool. It came from Bella Lou Designs. It came in this little clamshell kind of container. Cute little um, card. Bella Lou Designs, which is Gabby Ramirez. And what it is, is a really cute little bracelet with a tiger's eye. And around here it says tiger's eye, physical wellness, protection, grounding, mindfulness, and balanced energy. So I love that. I'm actually going to put it on right now because I've shown it so now I can wear it. I'll just add it to my ever-growing pile of bracelets on this arm. I love it. And, oh, you know what? People have asked, um, I've had a couple of comments as of recent or as of past possibly too, about what I wear, what all I wear. So I will quickly go into a descriptor of that since I have shared everything else. So obviously the newest one is my is this really pretty one. Let me not show that. That's my Apple Watch and my Apple Watch populates with favorite photos of Joyfield Little One. This is a bracelet that I got from 
loci, I think is what it's called. And they make these bracelets and they make the kind of silicone -y ones, but they also make really, I have one that's tur uh, turquoise beads, but it has a black one that is mud from the Dead Sea. And then a white one that has water from the highest point, which I believe is Mount Everest. And so it's to kind of symbolize the highs and the lows of life. And so I, I started wearing this back when my anxiety was really a struggle for me back in the spring and early summer. And I really have not taken it off since. Um, because one of my favorite songs during that period of time was Hills and Valleys by Torrin Wells. And it talks about how God is the God of the hills and also of the valleys. And he puts us in valleys and he puts us up on the hill. And so we need to be reverent of that and be, you know, mindful of that. So anyway, and then I have two James Avery charm bracelets. So James Avery is a company that was founded in Kerrville, Texas. Um, they sell things in sterling silver and gold. Um, I have this sterling silver one. This one has a few charms that are from my daughter. This was the second one. She got this one was a gift from my husband when my daughter was born. And I've just been adding ones over time. Some of them have like, when she was into pandas, I added a panda charm. She's obsessed with strawberries, strawberry charm. Um, her ultimate favorite animal ever, ever, ever is an alligator. And so I have an alligator charm. So, and there's one that's a coin with her um, initials engraved on it. And the back has her um, birth info, like her birth date and time and so yeah and I just I rarely take them off I wear them pretty much all the time so anyway thank you so much to Fli Stitch Life magazine for this super super cute um awesome little gift um what a nice surprise today to come home to I've been having kind of a rough week and kind of tired and a little extra anxious and so it was very nice to have that now let's let's do some um of last week's giveaways so i did a few a fair few last week um so if you i have one giveaway this week but it's going to be in the stash portion of this video and i am not showing a project and it's been 17 minutes i didn't think this one's going to be long we'll see um a couple of things when it comes to these the biggest one for right now is this week, I had on every single one I, I picked on the random comment picker, there was at least one person who had not filled out the um, Google Happy Mail form that's linked below. If you have not filled that out with your mailing information, I go to somebody new. So please do that. All right, so first up is the tea that came from the um, Lost in Austin, ooh, excuse me, Lost in Austin box from the Black Needle Society. I will tell you, um, I believe their extras from that box are going on sale on March 1st. Check out their Instagram for information on that. This goes to Judy Knits. So Judy, congratulations. I will be putting this in the mail to you. All right, next up. Um, this one was of much contention as to which uh, word we were going to use, but we came up with sheep. And so this one, there were 100 people who entered um, to stitch the sheep, which is the 2019 Prairie Schooler Santa. And this goes to Vicki Noel. So Vicki, I will put this in the mail to you this weekend. Next up, we have a Little House Needleworks. This is Country Christmas, and I had asked you to use the word pine for this one. There were 77 people who said they wished to stitch pine, and this goes to Mrs. Bobbin Lacer. So congratulations to you. I will put this in the mail to you this weekend. Um, next up is a Lizzie Kate. This is Ready or Not Santa 01, and we used the word reindeer i'm not really sure why but oh yes i do know why because joyfield little one picked that word it she is not here this evening she is back at grandparents um so there were 86 people who said they wanted to they wanted they liked reindeer they used reindeer in their sentence this goes to melissa graham so congratulations melissa i will be sending this to you this weekend two more we have a year in chalk from hands on design I ask you to use the word candy, and 62 people used the word candy. And Diane McCoy, I will be sending you this. So congratulations, Diane. 
And last but not least, we have If Pumpkins Could Fly, another hands-on design. This was an, is an exclusive to the uh, Garon Toten Bags Bag of the Month Club. I feel certain this will get released, but it'll probably be closer to October or the April. Like it's going to be as either the sixth month or the year long mark. I'm not sure. I was looking to see if it has. It doesn't really say. Anywho, um, I had asked you to use the word pumpkins or pumpkin and 73 people used that word. And this goes to Jesse Rimber. Rimber. So Jesse Rimber, I will be putting this in the mail to you and so you can get stitching on it. So congratulations to all y'all who were picked to have some goodies sent your way. All right, so next up, let's look at some projects. How about that? Let's look at what I worked on this week. So I did pull out my bird in hand so I could get caught up. Um, I am using five of these charts for an event in Semi Sane Stitchers. Uh, it's called Alpha My Bets, and the goal would be to stitch, it's an alphabet chart, to stitch them and by the end of the year have it completed. So I, because I've been wanting to stitch these cute little bird in hand ones, I'm doing five of them. I'm doing winter, spring, summer, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. And so this time around, we're on the letter D. This is in a Diana It Is Kismet stitches bag. It's some beautiful William Morris fabric. And this is on 20 count Ada from B Stitch Me in Peanut. I believe it was a fabric of the month. And I am caught up through letter D on all of them. So there is winter. There is spring. Summer. Thanksgiving. And Christmas. So um, I believe letter E starts this Friday. I believe. So it starts today. Today is Friday. It starts today. So I will probably pull these out. I don't know. I doubt I'll pull them out this weekend. I have quite a bit on my agenda this weekend. So I doubt I will pull them out this weekend. All right. I worked on Lizzie Kate's Cherish All Living Things. I used this for a prompt in Daily 30. Um, that is a group. Um, it's Cross Stitchers Journal and Daily 30. I believe it's a closed group, but they just let a bunch of new people in. Um, so kind of watch for that. And it was a prompt about something with a solid and a liquid. And this has water, has lots of solids. Um, this is a chart that I love that I have had since it pretty much came out. And I actually started to stitch it way back when on some very large count linen um not large large count it's like 28 count um I don't and I committed a lot of cross stitching problems in this one so I decided I really love it still I want to start it and so I did and I have this going on what kind of fabric I have it written down I think somewhere I think it's just a mystery yeah it's just an 18 count mystery Ada think from Be Stitch Me. And so I got quite a bit more put in. So I worked down here in the water, which is in Gentle Arts Tropical Ocean. And what was cool is, is my tropical ocean is in a project. So I pulled out some of my aunt's old tropical ocean, which was a 10 yard skein that was a dollar ninety. Yep. So, um, Thought that was kind of cool and it's got great variegation still so I worked on that love that piece now this was a mania start so it will be coming up for a birthday in may <clears throat> i worked on my spiders play thing which is a patreon exclusive from ink circles um i am stitching this on a fort this is also in a diana bag it is kismet stitches um, I am stitching this on a 14 count Ada mystery from, um, color and cotton, a grab bag piece. And this is what I have so far. I have done all of the white. So the white color is pearl from, is that right? Yeah. Pearl 
from Color and Cotton. And then the other three colors, which I've only so far used this one, are from Jody, who dyes beautiful fabrics and now flosses apparently, from Steel City Stitchers. And so I've got Jody Pink, Jody Gray, and Jody Purple. And these were shared with me so kindly from Michelle. And so um, I do have the white is all done and I started on the purple and I love it. It's so good. And it is so good to stitch with. Oh my gosh. Like incredible. No snags, no nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty pumped about how that's coming out. I was enjoying it so much. I did make a big goof almost immediately. And then when I figured out what my goof was, cause my, my circle wasn't matching up. I had to rip back like pretty much almost the whole thing. But then I kept going because it was just so good. It's just so good. Um, okay, this is my finish. So I pulled this one out for um, a daily 30 prompt across Stitcher's Journal. This is Hands on Designs Dear Tear. It's part of their White Christmas piece. This is on 16 Count Nessie from Picture This Plus, And it is a finish. So it is finished. I think it is so cute. Um, so yeah, I think this was for the prompt. Um, good piece for a beginner. I think it is. It's actually a very cute piece. I'm going to hang on to that one because I might pass that one along today. So then I actually just pulled this out last night. This is in my bag from Black Needle Society's Love your stitching box. This was the January box. Um, and it's got a Jane Eyre quote. I am a bird and no net ensnares me. And this holds the chart from that, which is hands-on design, a waffle lot. And this is part, I'm I'm participating in the waffle lot sow that uh, Michelle and Lady Robin of Lady Robin's is doing. And, um... My gosh, you guys, this chart is so good. I hope that she, um, that Kathy releases it. I feel certain she will. Usually her exclusives are for six months or a year. Um, I don't know that for a fact, so please don't quote me on it. Um, so I am doing this on a 20 count Ada. It's in blush. So it's just like a, it's just a Zweiger in blush. Purchased it off of a seller on Etsy. And so I have waffle and then I started on love. I have this slotted for a 24 hours of cross stitch across stick for two days so I am going to put some more time in this this evening so it goes up there. All right I did a bit more on my stamped cross stitch piece. This is May Deer's cross stitch and this is Bird and Flowers. Um, honestly I pulled this out a couple of nights this week because I just could not I just wanted to stitch, but I wanted to stitch on something and not have to like have the iPad. And so I do, I have really enjoyed this um, for that respect. So I finished filling in the white. Now it is white, but the back of it is yellow. So that's why it's kind of looking real yellow. And then I did fill in the center. And as you can see, I've started on the pink of this. All this blue will be pink. Um, this washes out. As far as what the instructions tell me is that when I am finished, I put it in warm water and all of the lines in the background will wash out. So this is just nice to have. I keep it set up on this 8x8 Q-snap. And I purchased this as a kit off of Amazon. So, um, and this one is pretty straightforward. I noticed in, a, I saw in a group the other day, someone posted um, a picture of one that's like all confetti. And that made my brain hurt, like literally. This is lo large blocks of color. And so when I'm in the mood to just put X's in, this is great. I think it's going to be cute when it's done. It's just something different, something different. Um, I worked on the project. Oh, this is Rosetta. I did put in more ro work on Rosetta after I showed it last Friday. So this is Ink Circles Rosetta. Um, I am stitching this in 12 colors. Each medallion is a different color of Gentle Arts. And then all of this and the center medallions are in cinders, which is also Gentle Arts. So this is my 
gorgeous. My threads don't look, my flosses don't look as beautiful as Nicole of Nicole Needlework. She has just, they're always just perfect. Mine, I don't care how I place them in the bag, they get like this. It works. So, beautiful. These are the ones that I literally went to my LNS and I went, I love all of these. I had obviously more than 13. And so I kind of narrowed it down to my most, most favorites. This is on 20 count snurt. It's opalescent. And this is from um, Mystic Fabrics. So what I did was I finished out this motif in cinders and worked my way down here. And then I came over and started this medallion. And this one is in that island blue. So you can see it variegates from like a hunter green, like an evergreen into this bright pops of tealy turquoise. So I love this. And so this is what I have so far. I mean, this is a long-term piece. Oh, my needle minder is, was sent to me as stitchy kindness from Tracy of Ink Circles for being a patron. By the way, if you are not a patron of Ink Circles, you're going to hear this more than once in this video from me. You should be. And I'm going to show you in momentarily why you should be. As if, as if her awesomeness was not enough. Just, it's going to be awesome. Because she's part of my big plans in March. All right, I did work some more on, where's my photo? 12 Days of Christmas. Actually, I don't think I showed this last week. Well, anyway, I used this for a prompt for um, Daily 30. I am working on the two turtle doves currently. I do have partridge finished. Um, I am stitching them as individual ornaments. You can also stitch them as one large piece. It's on 18 count white Ada. Um, either Wichelt or Zweigert. I have some of both. And this is what I have so far on this. It is still on the hoop because I'm really enjoying stitching on this. And I love to this weekend get the turtle doves finished. Plus... This is one for Whipco that I think I have as either 14 or 21 days for the year. So getting some days in throughout the months when it's not called is helpful. This is a really fun piece. Oh, this is from Satsuma Street. I don't think I said that. Um, and I'm in currently in the process of stitching all the birds. Um, yeah, the first four are birds. Um, I'm excited to get down to some of these down here, but so far I'm really just enjoying this. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's so fun. And this is in my Evertote bag, my 12 days of Christmas Evertote bag. That is all the stitching I did this week, but I did want to share with you one little piece of knitting. This is in a Spectacular Yarns bag, and this is my Vanilla Sock. And I wanted to share that I have put some more time into my one that I started, that I already started. Um, I've put in that many rows. I clearly have stopped in the middle of, uh, middle-ish. Um, I went ahead and put it back on circulars and it's going pretty well so far on circulars. So I've put in quite a number more rows on this one. Now, I, here's why I put it back on circulars. I went to the other part of my cake. So this is in Nomadic Yarns. And this is in Kiss the Girl. So I have one of my socks pulling from the outside of the cake, which is the first sock. And then the second sock is pulling from the inside of the cake. So that I can have two going. Um, so I cast on my second sock and have already done quite a bit. I've already done all the toe increases. So I have two socks on the go now. Yay! So yeah, I'm so excited for myself. So this is on uh, Chai Gu 9 inch circulars in a US 1. And I am using the CC's Vanilla Cappuccino Sock by Java Pearl Designs. And I am doing mine on the US 1s with 64 stitches um, because I have a fairly narrow foot. I have a longer foot. I wear like a woman's nine and a half, ten, but it's very narrow. Um, and I will probably follow a very similar pattern um, in terms of number of stitches when I stitch, knit up, um, not stitch, knit up joy-filled little one socks. And I made myself 
a foot. That is my left foot. Um, that was a that was a recommendation in the fish lip kiss heel. Yes, fishless fish lip kiss heel pattern that I purchased off of Ravelry for doing my heels. All right, so let me share with you plans. So February went very well for me. Um, for the most part, I stuck to my plans. I did finish both of my whip goal goals. Both of them were seven days on the projects. One of them I actually got a finish um, in six days. So that was awesome. I got a couple of other finishes. I only started... Two things yeah two things I had two finishes for now and two and a uh, two regular finishes and I stitched or knitted every day I didn't do both on every single day for March this is my current March I used my plum paper stickers to put in here um, my stitchy planner is a May designs this is the horizontal week on one page I think that's what it's called um, in the large size, and so it's got one week on a page. However, I have not written anything in there. I've been doing a lot of my planning in on like this kind of a calendar, and um, also in this just I had this in my classroom graph paper book. And so I've got some ideas about, but my biggest things are I've plugged in because Whipgo has already picked. Um, my two projects are So She Did by Teresa Kogut, um, which I love that chart. It's seven days on that. And then the second one is Return the Kindness, which is by Hands to Work. I started that around my birthday as a uh, Besties Bunny Sal with uh, Steph of Just Keep Stitching. And I have seven days slotted for that one as well. My big other thing I'm doing is March Stitchy Madness 2021, courtesy of the awesome idea of the Steel City Stitchers. I have been binging their videos. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So I am doing an Ink Circles March Stitchy Madness. So I have paired up four of my current small Ink Circles whips. They're all Patreon exclusive charts with four new starts, which are all also Patreon exclusive charts. So this one I have Love Bug, which is a whip pitted against my Danish heart, which is a new start. I am one eighth Dane, so I'm loving this. Shoe Riken, which is a whip, will go up against eight circles. Annie, which is actually my colorway, um, which is a new start. Sp Spider's Plaything will go up against Thread Chicken, which is a new start. Posy Go Round will go up against Fourfold Bounty, which kind of looks very Celtic, very Irish-ish with the color scheme. And so I thought that was kind of fitting. So I've got eight ink circles. So what's going to happen is on the first, I'm stitching on Love Bug. On the second, I'm starting and stitching on Danish Heart. I'm going to post where I am or just photos of these two on my Instagram stories as a vote where you pick, pick. And let y'all pick which one's moving on. The third and fourth, she Riken and eight cir and then the third and fourth will be she Riken and eight circles. Again, I will post a poll, let y'all vote for what moves on. Then we've got spiders plaything and thread chicken, which will be the next two days. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So by the eighth, I have my first. I go to my final four. So then again, I spend a day on this one and a day on this one, let y'all vote. Day on this one, day on this one, let you vote. So then what we end up with is two. I stitch a day on this one, a day on this one, and then I let you vote on the one that is kind of the winner that ultimately by the end of the month needs to be, should be an FFO. Not an FO, which is finished object, but an FFO, finally finished object or fully finished object. So, I'm starting four new things. Ultimately, I'm going to put progress in these four whips as well. I'm hopeful that some of these will wor work for some of the other 
activities I want to participate in in March, but I'm really excited. And these are all Patreon charts. This is why I'm saying you must go and be and patronize Tracy of Ink Circles. She's fantastic. So anyway, I have myself a calendar going. The pink is all madness, March Stitchy Madness. So by the 15th, I will have my ultimate one. And then I need to, I have 16 days to finish an FFO, which surely with these small ones, I should be able to do. I have starting on the 4th, so she did. I'm giving it seven days in a row. Return the kindness, seven days in a row. For me, a day is an hour of stitching. Just FYI. Those are my whip goes. The other thing is I'm going to do daily 30 monthlies, or I'm going to try. I also am starting Monochromatic March, and that is with Steph of Cades Crafts, Erin Two Martini Stitcher, Pam, and then Michelle Bendy Stitchy. We are all doing a monochrome March. I am starting um, Long Dog Samplers High and Dry. It is a new one. I'm going to be stitching it in Sulky on Ada, and I'm super pumped about that. Um, and so you will see that one next week because I'm actually starting it on Zoom with them on Sunday. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that. So that's kind of March in the most briefest of nutshells. I will chat more as the month goes on. So yeah. Any questions about any of that, feel free to drop it below. If you want more in-depth and better descriptors of March Tissue Madness or to acquire the bracket go watch Steel City Stitchers because they have, or you can go see their page on Facebook and they have it linked in there as well. It's not a group, it's a page. Um, so yeah, go do that. All right, so one second, please. I don't like having to do that, but if I edit, it takes forever for me to get my video up. All right, so guess what time it is? It is joy-filled stash stash time. It's joy-filled stashy stash time. So I don't have a ton, 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 but I have some cool stuff I want to show you. Um, so some hallelujah. And actually, this is more stitchy kindness. So I'm going to share that in just a minute. The first thing that finally arrived, this was shipped on November the 20th. November the 20th. Um, and it is from Al Forest Embroidery. They released their pumpkin carriage. Um, and they posted on their Instagram if you were one of their fifth the first 50 to order. It was order something, they would put in the paper copy and the flosses, the floss pack for free. So I was one of the first 50. So I did get the paper chart. It's both in color and black and white and then I got the ink circles not ink circles sorry the Al Forest flosses to stitch it with the bobbins that have the symbols on them which I love I, I've stitched Al Forest before and I love them I also purchased two digital two digital charts one was seasons of love and I purchased the flosses to go with and then the other one no, I can't remember. It's a cute little bird one. And see, this is not in English. But isn't that beautiful? I love those colors together. It looks like spring. And so it's a really pretty bird one. Um, I can't remember because it's been so long, but it's like it froze up in the Arctic tundra of Russia. Um, it did not move from November 20th. until like last week and then it like automatically was in like the U.S. and out for delivery and so it was awesome. Um, I did reach out to them and say hey I have not received this. Do you have any further updates because they give you a tracking information but it's very basic um, and sometimes with those it's through a different tracking system than like I can go track, track a USPS package. So anyway um it miraculously made it here safely in one piece and it was a highlight of my day week so i'm excited i don't know when i'll start this but i'm excited and i love the flosses so yay love it all right this is a pass the stash so i need to hang on to that all right so 
I got two different fabric of the month this week. So spoiler alert, if you get the Be Stitch Me or Color and Cotton fabric of the month directly from Color and Cotton, I get neutral in both. I get 20 count Ada from both. So the first is from Be Stitch Me. This is my 20 count February 2021 fa fabric of the month in sand dollar and it is perfect. It is like the most perfect kind of grayish, but it's still a little more gray than beige. Love it. Uh, amazing. So good. And I get a fat quarter from, from her. I wish she would do a fat eight because with 20 count, you, most charts don't need a huge fat quarter. Now with color and cotton, directly from color and cotton, um, I do the 20 count, but I do an eighth yard cut. And this is in marzipan and it's a beautiful cream beautiful cream. It's a very cool cream. It's not super, um, it's almost a got a little pinky tone to it, but it's not super, um, it doesn't come across yellowy. I'm not great with describing of the colors. All right. I, um, some of my favorite shops on Etsy, I love, and actually this one, I think she posted it on Instagram and I ran over to Etsy and snagged it up like fast, fast, fast. This is a bag from Fangirl Fibers. Um, it's incredible. And it's Animal Crossing. It's watercolor Animal Crossing. So yes, I had to have it. Least favorite character. I know some people are obsessed. Least favorite character. Um, I don't have this character and that is okay with me. Gulliver. Um, when I opened this, Joyful Little One tried to rip it out of my hands. And then the inside is super fun speckled. This is all super fun speckled. Yeah, I love it. I don't know what's going in it yet, but it needs to be a super fun stitch. Let's just be honest. All right, next up, I pre-ordered from Fat Quarter Shop the Chelsea's Checks One Yard Bundle. And so it came in today, actually, and it's got gray, the gray. So it's basically like the Priscilla's plaids, which I already have, but it's a smaller one. It's also, I believe, printed on the bias. Um, so you've got the gray and white, blue and white, red and white, black and white, orange and black, and then red and black. So next week when I bust this open and put it away, because it's so nicely packed, I will do what I did last time and I will take the um, black and orange because I don't Halloween stitch. And I'm going to cut it in fat quarters because I have a full yard cuts of these. Um, and I will do it as a giveaway next week. Um, I don't want to open it. It's so pretty. I like it like this for right now. So yeah, got that. Very last thing. And I'm, I, I was hesitant to share because they are so good. And I am so worried that everybody will run and inundate her with orders that I won't be able to get bags from her anymore. However, I'm going to share because they are just that good. So I watch a wonderful floss tuber. Um, her name is Wendy, but her channel is Wendy in Neverland. Um, she's got, she's calming. Well, on one of her videos, now mind you, I'm about a month behind. Um, she showed some of the project bags she'd been making. And she referenced that she had an Instagram where she sold her bags. So I scurried on over. I paused and scurried on over because they're pristine. They're fantastic. And their price point is phenomenal. And I looked and she has a small size. So I was like, that one, that one. So I grabbed two. I restrained myself because I needed these. Um, I, I needed these. I love this size and she does customs. So I am tempted to, I have some fabric that I've had languishing, waiting to make project bags. I'm probably gonna be sending them to her to make because they're just that good. Um, so it's Bags by Wendy. So if you go on Instagram and look Bags by Wendy, you can find her Instagram. Um, and so the first one is Catacorns. They have a super cute little fob. This one is a little jeweled kitty cat. How cute is that? Uh, this one nearly got ripped out of my hands by Joyful Little One because she's obsessed with anything with a unicorn horn. It has this really cool like metallic splatter. And then the back is phenomenal. I love it. This is just such a fun bag. I don't know what's going in it yet, but I'm sure I will find something. And then I had to have this one. She had two of these and she asked me which one I wanted. And of course, you know, I had to go with this one because this one had joy like bah, right front and center. And this one has a super cute bag pull. 
that's like a little stripey like peppermint candy almost beautiful lovely now actually the other one had a wider top fabric but it was this that I was like that one right there the joy because this one has half of this one has oi oi joy oi with the poodles already and then the back is a really pretty like evergreen amazing these this is like my favorite size. This is like my Diana bag, but I love her small size. So here's my Diana bag and here's Wendy's bags. So near identical. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So yes, go check her out, please. Um, I'm gonna be messaging her to find out how to send her stuff, just being honest, because yeah. All right, so then Amy, who um, does Mystical Diamond Art, who has branched into uh, Floss of the Month, Dying Flosses and Beautiful Floss of the Month, has um, reached out to me and asked if I um, would be interested in receiving some flosses to share. And I said, uh, yes, of course, because I have some of hers. They're beautiful. I have some kitted up in my Quirky Quakers that are coming up. So she sent me all the months that I don't have which is pretty incredible. So this is actually February's. So we've got, this is, look at that, Blurple. Beautiful. Ships super quick. You have Banana. Look at that. Look at that variegation. That's so cool. This is Grage. Oh, I love it. These will be so cool with like a monochrome. Yeah. Strawberry. I think that's my hair. Or my daughter's hair. Love it. And baby blue eyes. So that is February's. This one she labeled with February. Let's see what else I got. Because I got some more too. Next up. This one doesn't have a um, month on it. That's okay though. We have watermelon juice. That's pretty. I like that, like corally color. Pea soup. I've got a mix there. Piggy pink. It's got a little bit of like some taupe in there. A latte. And purple skies. That one's beautiful. One more that she sent me. I have already, I purchased three of her months and I lo loved them, loved them. Um, and she reached out to me and I said, absolutely. Why wouldn't I want beautiful flosses? So Amy, thank you so much. I believe she is obsessively crafty and I haven't seen a video from her. I think I just recently saw one pop up. Um, mulberry. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. That reminds me a lot of Dahlia, which is one of my favorites from Color and Cotton, but like even a little bit more plum. Then we have algae. That one's beautiful too. Scarlet. Ooh, that is a good red. That is a fantastic red. Amy, good job. Man, this is Horizon. Look at how beautiful that is. Then we have blue jeans. I like that. Like a dark wash blue jean. Oh, these are so good. So, so good. So, and then she sent me some Weeks Dye Works because she's just incredible. Like incredible that she sent me Week Dye Works. So she sent me five skeins of Week Dye Works. Weeks Dye Works. She sent me Bethlehem. That's such a fun variegated one. She sent me Berry Splash. Blackboard. Blaze and beige. So here's what we're going to do. This is where I'm going to share what I'm passing along to some of y'all today. That's trash. Um, first things first, I am going to pass along hands-on designs dear to tier. So if you are interested in this, a couple of things. Please be 18 so I can legally have your address. Please have filled out the Google Happy Mail form found in the description box below. 
please uh, make sure that you do not use the words giveaway free, like words that might draw people to find my video and enter to win this who don't have any interest in stitching. Um, and please use the word candle, C-A-N-D-L-E, candle. And I will pick for this next Friday using random YouTube comment picker. You need to use candle, C-A-N-D-L-E. Next up, I'm going to give away these beautiful Weeks Dye Works. And I'm going to give them to five different people. So if you are interested in receiving a random skein of Weeks Dye Works and a note from me, plus maybe I'll throw in a freebie chart or something I have laying around, um, please use the word works. W-O-R-K-S, works. Okay, it will be a random pick. So works for those. So we've got candle, works, and then this is kind of cool. This is a bigger deal. Um, this is, I think I probably just flashed you my address. Um, I'm going to show this from back here. It is a chart Erica Michaels came out with for 2021. Celebrate the new year. Um, this is a freebie chart, um, that I purchased, well, I didn't purchase the freebie chart, but I purchased the flosses that go along with from Crazy Annie's, and they sent me the chart, obviously, already printed on beautiful paper. So, it comes with six of the skeins of the Weeks Dye Works. There is one that has been out of, um, stock for a while, and so um, you could sub it. It's it's basically equivalent to 535, which is like a deep gray. So um, if you are interested in the freebie chart with the Weeks Dye Works to stitch it, please use the word dock, D-O-C-K, because it says hickory dickory dock, D-O-C-K. So again, the Erica Michaels chart with the Week Dye Works floss is DOC, D-O-C-K. The Week Dye Works flosses, which I will pick five people to receive one a piece and maybe a freebie chart. I have quite a bit. Um, will be Works, W-O-R-K-S. And then the last one was the Hands-On Design Deer Tier chart that I finished. You are going to use the word candle. So, that is about all she wrote, folks. I'm right at under an hour. I got a bit rambly in the beginning, but you know, we made it through. We're all in one piece. Um, I'm going to get some stitching in to finish out February strong. I hope you do the same. I hope that um, you have maybe something fun planned this weekend with the ones that are in your bubble. <sighs> and you wear a mask when you're out shopping or doing whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm off to have um, something nibble on. I'm gonna get some stitching in, watch something on TV, maybe floss tube, I don't know. Hopefully not fall asleep before I put some X's in a project um, and maybe knit a little. So with that, I will wish you a wonderful week ahead. I forgot, I can't forget my angel kindness card. We're gonna go with the one that's on top, which is actually the one that looks like the box. Beautiful angel kindness card. Forgive others even when you don't think they deserve it. You deserve the peace that comes from forgiveness. That's huge. That has been a learning thing for me. Because often I have found that when I am slow to forgive and I hold kind of a grudge or a frustration with someone, it wrecks me more than I think the other person who probably has no clue that it's wrecking me. And so let it go. Forgive if you can, um, distance if you can't, um, but let that go because the forgiveness means a lot to you, truly. Like, it is a release. Anyhow, not much more profound to say. I am going to redo my nails, so I'll have different nails, I think, next week. Um, I got some different kind of nails to try, some, um, like, gelish kind of ones. We'll see. Maybe a total epic fail, but that's okay learning experience. 
with that, I will bid you a wonderful week ahead, a wonderful night ahead or day or whenever you're watching this because you might be watching this in March if you're as behind as I am. And I will say and sing as always, so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next week.